NATO-Russia Dialogue, Prospects and Challenges The relationship between NATO and Russia has been strained since the end of the Cold War. Despite Russia's repeated efforts to normalize its relationship with the alliance, NATO remains wary of Moscow's intentions, especially in light of its annexation of Crimea and involvement in the conflict in eastern Ukraine. However, there have been some attempts at dialogue between the two sides in recent years, with both NATO and Russia expressing a willingness to engage in constructive discussions. This article examines the prospects and challenges of a NATO-Russia dialogue. One of the main challenges of a NATO-Russia dialogue is the deeply entrenched distrust that exists between the two sides. Russia sees NATO as an aggressive military alliance that seeks to encircle and contain it, while NATO views Russia as a revisionist power that seeks to undermine Europe's security and stability. This mutual suspicion has been exacerbated by a series of security incidents, including Russia's military intervention in Georgia in 2008 and its annexation of Crimea in 2014. Another challenge is the difficulty of finding common ground on key issues. Russia and NATO have different perspectives on a range of fundamental security issues, such as missile defense, arms control, and the role of NATO in Europe. Russia has also accused NATO of expanding its presence in the region and threatening its security. In contrast, NATO has emphasized its commitment to collective defense and deterrence, and has called for a dialogue with Russia to address shared challenges such as terrorism, cyber attacks, and non-proliferation. Despite these challenges, there are also some prospects for a NATO-Russia dialogue. One of the main prospects is the need for both sides to address common security challenges. For example, both NATO and Russia have expressed concern about the rise of terrorism, particularly in the Middle East and North Africa. Both sides have also highlighted the threat of cyber attacks and the need for enhanced cooperation to counter this growing threat. Another prospect is the desire for regional stability. NATO and Russia both have a vested interest in ensuring that Europe remains safe and secure, and that the conflicts in the region are resolved peacefully. There have been some recent examples of successful cooperation between NATO and Russia on regional issues, such as the ceasefire in Nagorno-Karabakh in 2020. A third prospect for a NATO-Russia dialogue is the potential for arms control agreements. Both sides have expressed a willingness to engage in discussions on arms control, particularly in light of recent developments such as the collapse of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces INF, Treaty. While there are significant differences between the two sides on this issue, there may be opportunities to find common ground and reach agreements that enhance regional stability and security. Overall, a NATO-Russia dialogue faces significant challenges but also has some prospects. While it will not be easy to bridge the gap between the two sides, there is a growing recognition of the need for dialogue and cooperation. It is important for both NATO and Russia to continue to engage in constructive discussions and seek out areas of common interest in order to build stability and security in Europe.